Hello, it's Les here again. Today I'm going to look at these three quarter length bib shorts by Q36.5. The, they are actually called uh, Salopette Gregarius Tre Quarti, made in Italy. They come in this very strange box. Uh, it opens up like that and then it opens up like a flower. So that's a bit strange. Although, uh, I don't actually like this box because I can't use anything else. So I am going to recycle that. I would just like to see a normal, a nice quality box that I can use for something else. Anyway, it comes with these labels and things here, tags, onto the shorts themselves. So I've ridden them for a couple of weeks now already. And what I've noticed is, is this. Uh, I'm comparing them to, say, the thermal shorts from uh, Castelli. I'm using the thermal three-quarter length shorts. Those shorts... I think the sweet spot and temperatures probably, you could probably start using them about 10 degrees Celsius, uh, but uh, you know, anything between about 12 and 16 is good. They're fleecy. These are not fleecy. And uh, I don't think they're that much warmer than a normal short pair of pants, uh, shorts, shorts. I would say, yeah, probably I wouldn't want to use them much if it's much colder than 14 so I would say the sweet spot for these three quarter length ones is kind of 14 to maybe 18 degrees or something like that I haven't tested them in hot climate yet now I mean I think if you're living in maybe Europe or somewhere or northern North America uh, there's probably not going to be much use for these because in winter you're going to go straight for the full length tights However, where I am, the winter's not that extreme, and Sydney weather, um, well, I'm not actually in Sydney, let's say Australia weather, it doesn't actually get that cold here, except maybe if you're living in the Alps, then you might need a pair of tights. But these are actually pretty good for the spring and autumn season, you know, the three quarters. I'm a big fan of three quarter thing pants, is what I'm saying. Anyway, on to the construction. So, I'll start maybe with the back material. It has this kind of, uh, I'll try and zoom in. It has this mesh, which is very fine. And it's kind of, not double-sided, but it's two, two layers of it. So it's, it's a green on this side and black on the other. So that seems to work and I don't get as hot and sweaty in the, wearing these as say the Castelli thermal three-quarter length ones it has a little tag up here and then it has a bigger tag in here down the bottom I'm probably going to rip that off because that is you can feel that it's quite uncomfortable the strange thing is for me, they don't use flat stitching anywhere, um, except maybe, uh, well, I won't say in anywhere. They, for the main seams of the bottom part, they don't, they're not flat stitched. But, uh, where did I see it? I was looking at the video. Some, some parts are. I can't find them. Anyway. What I like about it probably the most is the, are the straps. The straps themselves are a very nice elastic. I'll zoom in. Very nice stretchy elastic. I don't think you can get this elastic off the shelf. Say you go to AliExpress. I've never seen anything like this elastic. So I think that, that's specially made. The nice thing about it is uh, it doesn't... When you're wearing it on the shoulders, it doesn't curl up like that. I've had another pair that I just sold, and I've reviewed them in the past. The 
super leggera or super leggera, super leggera I think they called Castelli ones they tended to roll up up here so these stay flat that's very nice I wish I had have had these pants when I was younger and I, I was doing some massive rides like up to 200 kilometers solo rides I wish I had have had these big pants then because I thought they were just for fat people but after a while you realize that this lycra does sort of um, uh, what's the term uh, ride down like it, it it's it sort of sinks down as you're riding along so I, I remember at the end of this this big ride I did I was half the time pulling up my pants but that was with another pair that wasn't with these I'm just saying I wish I had have had these so it has a very unusual bottom pad thing this is from the outside view now I'm not sure if that's Dyneema or whether that's the silver uh, it's not 100% clear to me what that is but I think it's meant to be wear resistant uh, you know that's kind of nice I suppose but it doesn't cover the whole it doesn't cover the whole ass area from one for one of a better term so the back is like this it has this vertical line pattern there which is okay now I should say as well that the actual fabric the actual lycra seems to be very high density it is it's very it's not I've not seen anything with that many with that higher thread count it feels higher quality than other lycra that I've had so that's kind of nice but I don't think it's very mu much warmer it, it's it's uh, it's not that much warmer now what I was gonna say as well is that actually I think the Castelli thermal three-quarter length tights that I have that I'm comparing these to um, I've been wearing those for a year or two so I know those quite well I think they're actually more those ones are more comfortable at the back of your knees than these but everything above the thigh let's say these are more comfortable the pad is very comfortable we'll get to that in a minute but I think from the thigh down the Castelli ones you don't you don't feel them at the back of your knee when you're cycling along these you can kind of feel them at the back of your knee so they're not perfect now let's have a look at the pad now the pad seems to be the exact same one that's in the unique big bib shorts I'm probably going to try out those unique bib shorts maybe uh, so I'll be able to compare them but that is the the what the that it looks like there it seems to me that it's um, got like a perforated a perforated uh, uh, foam underneath what the strange thing is yeah I think these are the exact same this is the exact same pad that are on their premium shorts costing $500 so that's a little strange that they have used the same pad what I, well I think they I think it is I'll confirm that when I get the other ones I got these on sale for 189 Australian dollars um, for 365 rider I think it was and so that was quite good because I I was looking at getting them for a while and uh, they just happened to go on sale somewhere while I was ready to get them so that was handy I think for $189 that's good value maybe for $300 uh, I don't know if I'd buy another pair for that amount of money uh, the last pair of those super leggera ones that I had I actually sold because they were too tight for me uh, I think you know I'd probably rather have 
I think the fleecy Castelli ones are actually probably more useful because they work in colder temperatures and these are probably not so warm so they the uh, I don't know about the, the I don't know how to even express myself uh, I think if you're trying to save money or you're paying rent or you're a student they're probably not worth it you could probably buy another pair of bib shorts for half the price or buy twice as many and then you can wash one and then have the other ones uh, you know ready to go I'm not gonna I, I'm not rich enough that I can afford a full wardrobe of Q36.5 but I think it was I think it's been interesting trying one or two garments I'm gonna maybe get a couple more but I'm certainly not I, can't, I certainly can't really afford to have a full wardrobe with you know uh, seven sets of um, shorts or whatever and whatever you want what you know for every day of the week uh, I haven't done that so I'm going I've just got a couple of pairs of shorts a couple of three quarters and for now I have to wear them a few times in a row which is not ideal and then wash the wash wash the other pair but for a long time I've only had one pair so uh, I think if you can get them on sale they're very good uh, the full price is very you know it's it's expensive they are better quality than most shorts I read somewhere that oh, only millionaires can afford them I don't think that's necessarily true because um, you know even if you're a student you can still save up and get something like this you know, it just means eating noodles for a while. It's not like they cost, say, $10,000 or anything silly. So they might cost double the price, but they, you know, they are made, you know, a little bit nicer than some other thing, other pants that I've seen. So uh, I'm not going to get these exact pants again. I'm going to buy... I do like the, the the pad in them. I found it pretty comfortable, probably one of the most comfortable that I've had. For example, another pair that that I compare them to is the um, the uh, Castelli Super Leggera ones. Those were those cost three hundred dollars. The pad in those particular ones was a bit too spongy. It had a bit of gel in it or something, and it was a, almost too padded. So they are quite comfortable. I'm, I might, I'm. What I intend to maybe do is get one pair of these in the short uh, size in the titanium color because I like that two tone color, and then maybe. Uh, because I'm doing a bit of work and got some money coming in and uh, I may spring for the unique ones you know half the reason for that is so I can review them because they haven't been reviewed so anyway these are the Q36.5 pants overall I like them I'm probably not going to get no, I wouldn't get the exact same uh, ones again. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got them. What I'm saying is I probably don't need to own two pairs, but one pair is good. I'd have one pair, but not. I don't think I need two. So that's my review. They are very comfortable in the pad area and in the shoulder straps. Definitely the shoulder straps is one of the best things about them. Uh, I would have liked to see some flat stitching though, but you know. Um, so is there anything else to say about them? Mm, no, I think that's about all. Hmm. All right, well, thanks for watching. Bye.